Okay, to separate the rib from the loin, I usually cut the soft spot right between the vertebrae where the last rib comes out. Then cut the bone with my saw right where I marked it. Pro tip, always cut the bone with the saw and the meat with the knife. The cleaner cut from the knife will help maintain a sexier look and slow down oxidation. I mean, look how beautiful that pork loin is. That's so appealing. Okay, to fabricate this loin, I'm going to need to trim some of the fat. As you can see here, there is a hard line between the first and second layer of back fat, and that's exactly where I'm going to cut it. Really peeling away the first layer and following the natural seam. Once this fat cap is taken off, I like to skin it right then. All I do is simply cut the fat into strips, and just like if I was to skin a salmon, I cut about an inch in close to one end for something to hold on to. My knife is angled towards the cutting board, and I pull the skin back towards me. If done right, you'll get a beautifully cleaned ribbon of skin ready to be made into pork rinds. Okay, for cutting nice steaks or chops, I love to use my 12 inch rosewood handled Victorinox Semitur knife. Before cutting right away, I like to make lines in the fat for even chops. Then I'll cut right down to the bone at each place I marked. Using my handsaw, I'll cut the shine bone that holds it together. This beautiful chop with the small rib can be a rib chop or loin chop since it was cut from right in the middle. Okay, on to the rest. Now the processor cut the loin end with about half of the top sirloin still attached. So what I have to do is cut and remove this small hip bone and make boneless top sirloin steaks. It's quite an awkward bone. I'll just trim a little bit of fat off the tail end and there you have it some beautiful loin chops okay onto the rib section there is a small film that I take off the ribs as it tends to become unsightly when cooked and just like I did for the loin side I'm going to follow the natural scene between the first and second layer of back fat This back fat is harder and really great for salami and curing as it can withstand the long drying process without rendering. Okay, now I use my boning knife here to cut the chops, but I don't recommend it unless you've got some experience. Otherwise, I'd recommend the 12 inch scimitar I used for the loin. So first I cut each chop from the loin side so it will be lined up with a rib. Then I come through the bone side to separate the individual chops. Then use my saw to cut the remaining bone. At the end here, I use my electric saw as my handsaw blade started going dull. Look at these beautiful rib chops. Just a quick trim of the thick fat and we're golden. Thanks so much for watching me cut it up and don't forget to like and subscribe. Later!